Hello guys, this is Solus Starmonger with Solus Gaming. Welcome to episode 3 of the Entropian's Guide to the Universe. Today we are going to be talking about the new Sense update and the new NPCs. I'm here with Melanie Starmonger. Hi. And today we are going to go over these and show you a little bit about them. Now I'm not going to get into too much detail with reading things on the website. However, I will link the information for you guys in the description below. So make sure you check that out if you really want to read all the TLDR stuff about it. But anyway, so the new Sense update is a about 20 new NPCs that they've improved the AI capabilities and they've given them memory recall and uh, they are now capable of giving you links to mobs and other places within the Entropia universe and holding conversations in which they will remember you after an amount of time. So we'll stick around and we're gonna go through all that stuff. Um, so when you first get to Calypso, you know, right here at Camp Icarus, you get off the boat right over here and then you go do your mission over here for Sergeant Santa. But if you look further up the beach, you'll see the first of these NPCs. And as you can see, they have chat bubbles and things like that. Now, when you go to talk to them, like this one, some of these, they have various information about various things, which I will demonstrate later. They don't all speak to you the same way. They don't all bring up the same types of information. And some of them, which you'll see later, um, they have information, but it's a little limited. So here we go. Uh, did you know a swarm of derpy can devour an Air Max bull in minutes? Wild, huh? Okay, so. We're going to respond to that and go, wow, that's pretty interesting. And see what he comes up with. And now it does take him a minute to think and come up with a response. And like I said, this is the first guy that you're going to encounter on Calypso. When you're, when you're, player. When you're a new player, that is. I'm sorry. There's um, more up the way. Yeah, there's a little bit more up the way that we're going to demonstrate. And I am going to show you two or three of the other locations they're at. But I'm not going to give away all the locations because I don't want to spoil it for you. If you are into checking these new NPCs out. Cool. Uh, some of them you're going to have to find on your own. Um, but they're basically at all the, uh, the beginner places and a few other locations that we've found so far. But we haven't been looking for all of them. I don't know. I haven't been on Calypso since... Uh this and they are only on Calypso right. right now. For now, they're only available on Calypso. They might have further plans to expand it to other planets, uh, depending on how they go here. So, here we go. Alright. There's his response. I'm glad you think so. Calypso's wildlife is full of fascinating creatures. You know what? The, that word I'm gonna murder can <laughs> see in the infrared spectrum, which helps them hunt at night. Isn't that amazing? If you're curious about anything else or need directions to Camp Icarus, feel free to ask. Okay, so the first thing we're going to ask him is, okay, where is Camp Icarus? Now, we know where it is, but let's see if he can give us good directions. Okay, now this is one of those clickable links I was telling you about. Now, if you click on this, what you'll notice is down here, it added a waypoint to the map. And if you pull up the map, there's your waypoint, which happens to be right up the hill here, but that's not the point. He is accurate with that one, so okay. Okay, thank you. I'll be back later for more questions. Sorry guys, you'll have to bear with my typing here. <laughs> questions. All right, so we're going to wait for his response and then we'll continue on. 
Now, later on, we're going to come back to this guy because they're supposed to be able to remember their conversations with you. Oops, that's not... <laughs> I'm okay. used to hitting OK for missions. Now, this is Willard Warren's. So we're going to follow his directions up here. You, you notice the waypoint. We already know where Camp Icarus is, but new players may not understand that it's right up the hill. So we're going to run up here. Now, when we get up here, you'll notice there's three more and well, four more NPCs like this that we're going to talk to. Here at Camp Icarus. At Camp Icarus, yes. I believe there's one at <clears throat> Port Atlantis. Yeah, there's a few at Port Atlantis, and uh, I forget where the other one was that we encountered. But I have talked to these guys a little bit beforehand, and what you'll notice is they have these chat bubbles. You know, instead of putting everything in one of the normal um, windows. So this guy I've talked to a little bit before. So we're going to test his recall. Let me ask you a question. Can you ask him about robots the last time? Yeah, I asked him about robots the last time. I asked him where a waypoint was. Um, so, uh, let's see. I asked him about a, a bunch of other things, too. So, let's see if he remembers. Do you remember? Last time. So we're going to wait for him to respond, and let's see if he remembers. It might have been too long ago. Now these guys, yep, here we go. I did talk to him about mentoring and the advantages a human mentor has. Okay. So he remembers that we were talking about mentoring and focusing on skill efficiency and diversifying weapon types. Uh, pretty much everything I asked him about before. Now we're going to respond with wow. I don't remember half of that. So let's see what he comes up with with that. Now there is a little bit of a wait time as it has to access its data. No worries, there's a lot to take in when you're new here, and if you have any questions or want me to go over anything again, please let me know. I'm always excited to chat about Calypso and its tech wonders. Okay, so now we're going to ask it, could you tell me where I can find Argon, uh, level 3 Argon? So we're going to let him give us a link and we'll follow it and it's probably going to be pretty accurate. Okay, see as I said, some of these NPCs do you have to be very specific. In this case, he couldn't find level 3 Argonauts because I wasn't specific enough as to where the area they are in is. However, fear not. There's another NPC over here that we're going to go talk to about this. So as you can see, how long have you been waiting here? As you can see, we're going to switch to a completely different topic and see how modal they are. Okay, so we switch to a new topic. He's been here at Camp Icarus with his family for a short while, just getting settled and waiting for our transport to Atlantis Haven. Atlas it's, Haven. Er, I'm sorry, Atlas Haven. It's all quite new and exciting. That's good to know. Have you got a mentor? <laughs> Now, when we ask him about a mentor, let's see what we get. Not yet, I'm still in yeah. Finding a mentor is definitely on my list, though. It's such a valuable guidance for newcomers like me. That's a great point. 
Okay, now after we get his response, we'll move on to the next one. And I'll demonstrate the waypoint capability there. All right, I'm glad you think so, if there's anything else. So we pretty much closed the conversation with that's a great point and the AI figured out that, okay, you know, that's cool. Uh, is there anything else you want to know about? If not, just go away, <laughs> basically. All right, so that's Alan Collins. Now these three, all of these NPCs will talk to you, but for the sake of being brief, we're only going to talk to this one. Uh, they all have different things to say. And you'll notice when I walk past them, you see, that's when they let out their little chat bubbles, and if you're not careful and not paying attention, you'll miss it. Um, sometimes they will even call you by name if you walk past them. Okay, that's... He's not doing it this time, but he, he did it a few times before. So if you run over here by the building, there's another one. And this is, as you can see, she remembered me. I've only talked to this NPC one other time before making this video, so she remembers talking to me from that time. Um, now, when we talk to her, we're going to ask her, can you tell where to find... Let's go with... the. Well, let's actually spell out the word this time, because it might not understand acronyms. Level three. Let's see what she said. Okay, see, she gave us an actual waypoint where the other NPC couldn't, but that was probably because instead of spelling out the word level, I used LVL. So if we click on this, or it could be because he said that he's very new to the planet. Yeah, it could also be that he was new to the planet, and that's not in his dialogue scheme to answer that kind of. Okay, so we just demonstrated some of the abilities of the NPCs, and we came to Port Atlantis. So now we're going to go talk to the NPC that's over here in Port Atlantis that we found the, uh, yesterday. And there's one more that I'm going to show you. As I said, we're not going to give all the NPC locations away because I don't want to spoil it for everybody. And we haven't found all of them. And we haven't found them all ourselves, but we do have a list of their locations, so <laughs> we can cheat a little bit, but I'm not going to do that. So, let's see. Now, if I remember right, yeah, this guy over here likes to talk about plants. Like, a lot. <laughs> so, there is that chat bubble again. Now, I'm starting to think that maybe what they're going to do is move to a chat system to where you will have the option to display these above your character as well. But they're testing them out on the NPCs to make sure they work right and all that kind of stuff first before adding another layer of complication to a player. But anyway, so if we talk to this guy, we'll ask him, do you remember me? And as I said, some of these NPCs are, are a little different. See? I've only talked to this guy one time, and that was only for a few minutes. So here's what we're going to do. Can you tell me about Ford? Now, if you misspell a word or something like that, don't worry. It will be able to figure out what you're trying to ask it. I have horrible typing, and I've had no trouble... <laughs> with conversations with these guys at all. Oh, why do I have that up? <laughs> so as you can see, they have all kinds of lore. That's too long. I'm not going to read it. But anyway, you can ask them all sorts of things about Port Atlantis. Um, let's see. 
Um, let's ask him. Let's ask him about about somebody that's well known. How about that? Do you? Whoops. Maybe not. <laughs> Hang on. I hate it. All right, there we go. Now, do you know about Never Die? Let's see if he can tell me and tell us anything about him. Now, I don't know if they put information like, yes, they haven't put that kind of information in their models yet. I don't know if they're planning to or not, but. He wants me to give him a hint. So, one of the things about these NPCs, they will learn from your conversations and they will remember facts that you give them. So, uh, never die is a. Oh my goodness. Well, I want to demonstrate something here. Um, never. <laughs> no, I better not do that. It probably won't work, right? All right, so now nah, is a prominent we'll just keep it simple and can you tell me about rock Entropia. Okay, so we're going to test their knowledge on other places in Entropia to see if they've included that or if not. And I think the name is kind of silly, but that's okay. Anyway, I'm not from. Okay, so this NPC at least doesn't know about Rocktropia, and that's fine. Okay, so here's what we're going to well, do. At least tell them that Rocktropia is another planet. Well, he. Ask you to clarify. Okay. Is another planet in intro? Oops. Oh. The oh gosh, universe. Man, I uh, okay. Yeah, so he has absolutely no idea what that is. So, okay, we will discuss it further a bit later. And if you noticed, I terribly misspelled further. I spelled it in inside out. Okay. So, we're done with that guy. And like I said, you can ask these NPCs a whole lot of different things and they're, they're generally going to know about them. So now, uh, I do believe there's another one in here. Yes, there is. So this is another one. This is a mission NPC. This is animation is the new sense NPC. Let's see if she, there we go. See? Now when we talk to her, how are you today? <clears throat> now she's got an interview according to her to Port Atlantis Mall. So uh, you you yeah, we talked to her about the interview a little bit earlier. So, and actually that was a few days ago. So let's see. Do you talk about the in? You shit days of goal. Okay. 
<laughs> Let's see what she said. Yes, I do remember. We talked about my upcoming... Okay. Your encouragement really helped boost my confidence. Now, when we were in this discussion, um, I told her I'm sure she'll do a good job and all that kind of stuff, and good luck. Now, let's see if... Remember what I said. I am sure you will do a great job. Okay. So now we're going to tell her, excellent, and good luck. Hope to see you in the mall soon. Ah, I misspelled luck. That's okay, she'll understand. Okay, so, okay, bye for now. Okay, so as you can see, these NPCs, they do have a wider range of discussion. They are capable of showing you where things are by placing um, waypoints on your map. Um, the, some, can and some, some, some can, some cannot. Um, in fact, let me see if she can tell us where something is. Can you tell me where to find? Oh yeah. From the heathens, got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing. Take me for granted, and you know I'm leaving. I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving. I could take this crap from seeing to believing. Got a taste for blood, and my tongue keeps bleeding from the words I spit. So sharp, so freezing, so cold. Behold, frostbite, they feeling. I could tell you. A pot or I could go heal him, don't believe in
in the mall. So she's associated, oops. Her whole thing is she wants to be a fashion person, right? So we're gonna see if she can tell me where I can find clothing in the mall. Okay, so she's being a little bit over, over, I wouldn't say vague, it's more, more all-inclusive than any specific shop, but she is still telling you that, hey, go check out the mall, there's all kinds of stores in there with clothes and that kind of thing. She's encouraging you to destroy the mall on your own. Right, so, okay, thanks, see you soon. You're welcome. Looking forward to it. Take care until then. All right, so we've talked to her. Now let's go ahead and go back to check on our little traveler buddy. We got to run over here to the teleporter and go back to Port Atlantis. Why don't you just go up to the top of the mall? Because. Oh, you're going to the MCC at that. No, we gotta go. Uh, there isn't one over here by the teleporter, but we gotta go back to Port uh, Whatchamant Digger, um, Camp Bakerus. Sorry, and we'll talk to a couple of more NPCs out there and see if they remembered what we talked about. It would be really cool if they put one up here by the teleporter, but they didn't. <laughs> okay, so here we go. All right, now we're gonna go back to Camp Icarus. As I said, the other one that I found was, um, there's one at Fort Lehar, I believe. I believe, don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure there is, but that was like really early in the morning, so I wasn't really paying all that much attention. So now that we're at Camp Icarus, we're gonna go talk to this guy again. Now you'll notice, maybe there's been enough time. In these thought bubbles, if you get close enough to them, when they pop up, uh, that must be because she's talking to him. There you go. Now, these will say various things. One of them, when I ran past earlier, said, Hey, how you doing, Solus? And I completely missed it. So, it's going to be a while before it says that again. So, we'll go over here and talk to him again. I don't remember what we talked about before. And tell me. So now we're going to see if he remembers talking to us from a few minutes ago, which he should. Hi, big boy. Okay, and as you can see, he's remembering pretty much everything we talked about. Feel free to ask. All right, um, let's ask it another question, like, hmm, um, okay, how do I find an auction let's see if it can tell me about an auction here okay as you can see auctioneers can typically be found in major cities and trading hubs on Calypso and all that kind of happy stuff and okay so 
will say okay thanks And uh, if you need, you know, you can always ask if you need any further information. So, he remembers things. Most of the other NPCs also do. So now we're going to run down here to this guy that we talked to first. And ask him a few questions. Now, as you can see, these NPCs, um, they do have a lot of information that's geared more towards new players. Um, this is, I believe, part of what they're trying to do to make the new player experience a little bit less confusing and a little bit easier to um, learn things and learn where things are and that sort of thing. So we'll ask him about mentoring. What? Wait. Do I need a mentor? Door. Okay, having a mentor can be incredibly beneficial, especially when you're new to Calypso. We can guide you through the basics, offer valuable tips and strategies, and all that happy stuff too. So, they are actually not meant to replace mentors. They are, anytime you ask them about them, they will be uh, in favor of you finding a mentor. These are not meant to replace mentors. Um, they are only meant to give new players that don't have mentors or possibly older returning players that haven't been on Calypso or haven't been on Calypso since a lot of things have changed since they last played. They're here to give you a little bit easier experience in learning where things are, how to do things, um, you know, where to find mobs and things like that. So. In that respect, I do believe these are going to be helpful to newer players as well as um, older returning players. So, along with these, there is, let's see, let's see if you can, <laughs> oh, okay. the thought bubble uh, range is a little tricky. You got to be right within a certain range for them to do it, but anyway. You guys have seen that, um, and there it is. And see, he will put out random facts and random things like this until you talk to him. But like I said, the range is a little weird, and the spot that you got to stand in for that to show up is, eh, it's a little weird, but I'm sure they'll improve on it later. So, I wanted to include something in this, which if you would like more information on what exactly all of the Sense Update does, you can find it here on this website, which is a link that I am not doing right, of course. But anyway, uh, where is it at? There it is. All right, so I have way too many tabs open. Please bear with me, guys. What the heck? Anyway. I will link the uh, page for this in the description in which you can find a more in-depth breakdown, here we go, of exactly what the Sense Update does, what it's meant to do, um, how they're changing the conversations with the characters here, uh, all about the clickable links and the seamless navigation, um, memory and all that good stuff that's too long to really go over in this video, but if you would like to read all that, I will have this linked in the description below. Um, now, what are my thoughts on this? Well, for older players that don't really need the help, they're kind of a neat thing that, you know, okay, they're pretty cool and you might use them every now and then. But as I said, for newer players and people that don't have a disciple and people that are trying to decide if they really want to stay in the game, these are probably going to be very helpful. Um, for us older players that are veteran players, um, maybe not so much, but they are still cool to have conversations with because you still might learn something from them. Um, not everybody knows everything there is to know about Entropia, so if you are actually trying to find out something that maybe 
you've been looking for something for a really long time and you just can't find it, maybe ask one of these guys. They might know where it is and be able to take you right to it. And again, for newer players, these are not meant to replace uh, mentors or any of that. They're meant to be more of, say, a supplement for if your mentor isn't online and you have a question that nobody in your society or rookie chat can answer, you can ask one of these NPCs and they'll be able to tell you, possibly, um, or give you some kind of an idea of what you're looking for. So overall, I would say it's an interesting update. It's probably going to be helpful to a lot of people. But there's also those players that, you know, we already know about all this stuff. And these really aren't meant for us anywhere. Anyway, they're meant for the new player community. I think they would be helpful to me since my home planet is not Calypso. And when I um, come to Calypso and there's a mob that I don't remember where they're at, I can get to look for them. That's how it would be useful to me as an older player. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, if you're not familiar with Calypso... Um, you don't come here a lot or, you know, you haven't been here in ages. They would be a good way to refamiliarize yourself with Calypso or find something that you're looking for on Calypso um, and things like that. So, yeah, with that, I think we're going to call this one wrapped. What? Did you have something else to say? I was going to see if they could tell you where it's what. Oh, yeah, we haven't. Let's see if uh, that's one thing we should do. Let's see if they know about Royal Club and uh, all that. Uh, the sweat circles. Um, can you tell me about Royal Club? Let's see what it knows as far as general information and what goes on out there. It may just know the land area information and not that there are sweat circles and stuff out there. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. So, this guy at least wouldn't be able to tell you that much about it. It's not part of the official lore, so it's not going to know about it. Ask about sweat circles. It may not know. Because these are, again, a little limited in their knowledge. Let's see if he knows. Yeah, they know what they are. Okay, there you go. So even the NPCs know about sweat circle. Which is a good thing. So, can you... Tell me where I can find a Now this it may not know because these are kind of subjective. Everybody knows that Royal Club is a big sweating spot, um, but the NPC may not know that. Oh fear and glory is Well see it it's that is wrong. Well, it's it's going by generalization because sweat circles are not official. They are just something that players do. And they can be anywhere, so that's... That is true. That I am not going to knock points off of because, you know, that's subjective to where they may be. You know, and the player that's hosting it. Um, generally, they cannot be found around camp. Right. Generally, they're not around Camp Icarus, but... You know, and it's they're directing you to ask around the camp and like a local to right. They're they're here. It, it does say keep an eye out for other newcomers or ask around the camp. They might already have a circle going. And odds are nine times out of ten, if you ask about it, they're going to direct you to um, either Jura, where there's a certain sweat circle out there from Mac Maelstrom, or. They might direct you to um, the Royal Club, or there is an SSI event on Calypso at um, daily at OLA42, I believe it is. Um, so, in general, if you're looking for a sweat circle, it's a good idea to ask a player, uh, because like I said, that's not really 
an official thing where it's a designated place you do it. It's wherever the host decides they want to have it. I recommend Oath Theater at uh, Royal Southern Oak. Royal Network. Okay, but sweating is not the focus of this video. These NPCs. The NPCs are, but you, that is good advice. However, we'll cover that in a different <laughs> video. We've covered sweat before. Actually, we've covered it before <laughs> quite a few times. Not on... So. Just not the ones on Calypso. But anyway, so do you have anything else you would like to add? Um, as an, Like I said, as an older player, I would use these to find the waypoints for mobs that I don't remember where they are. Um, I, however, don't spend a lot of time on Calypso, even though I have the last few weeks. All right. So, as I said, if you want to read the technical details and all that fancy stuff about these, I will leave the link for that page I showed you in the description. Feel free to check it out. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, make sure you follow Melanie's new stream on Twitch. That's uh, twitch.tv.melanie, I'm sorry, twitch.tv slash Melanie Starmonger. And I'll be starting my stream up again pretty soon, probably next week as well. And uh, links for both streams are in the description. Um, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.